Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mukhtar Ahmed with the Virtual Universities course of Human Resource Management. And we are here today with our lecture number 21. And I believe you are learning. And remember that we are discussing our hiring process. We started our hiring process, and in the last couple of lectures, we are discussing different parts of or different steps of a hiring process, the main activity of human resource department or human resource management. So let's start our today's session. So as usual, we have to review our last lecture, and that was lecture number 20. We started our selection process, our selection step of hiring process, and within selection, we were discussing different steps which form the selection process. Or uske andar, during our lecture number 20, we try to understand the fifth step of selection process, and that was background investigation of those candidates which are already qualified and they might be the, your potential employees. After ba background investigations, we again discuss this step number six that was conditional job offer subject to the next step that was the physical exam and drug test. And if everything will go fine, definitely the last stage, the permanent job offer was also discussed during our lecture number 20th. And I hope now at, that, at this level, you have fair enough or fair idea, a concept about the selection process of HR activities. We also discuss not only that you are selecting different level of people, keeping in view today's this globalization concept of people going out of their domestic boundaries for their organization purpose, for their business purpose. And we try to understand the concept of selecting managers. And in this topic, we try to explain to you that what option any organization can have. They can hire a person as a manager, male or female of course, from your, from their parent country. And we also discuss their advantages and disadvantages. And the same way, they have the option to go for the host country. And if they have to pick the host country manager, a manager from the host country where they have the setup, again, there were certain advantages and disadvantages. And the last option was, you don't want to go for the, your own parent country nation. You don't want a host country due to any reason. Technical maybe, maybe economical, maybe some strategical decision. But then you, you have the third option, which was hiring a manager from third nation, third country nation. And again, we try to understand what are the pros and cons, what are the advantages and disadvantages of hiring a third country nation. So that was the selection process. Of course, the second stage of hiring process. And after that, 
The last stage of hiring was the socialization and we did start it, our socialization part in our lecture number 20th. क्योंकि ये तीनों पार्ट जो हैं तीनों स्टेप्स हैं रिक्रूटमेंट सिलेक्शन और सोशलाइजेशन दीज आर द बेसिक कंपोनेंट द बेसिक पार्ट ऑफ ए हायरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड रिमेंबर दैट इट डिपेंड ऑन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द टाइप ऑफ जॉब वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ दे प्रोसीड फॉर दिस हायरिंग प्रोसेस The basic logic will be the same, but they might skip certain points or certain steps, or they might add few more. But the basic philosophy is the same. And again, who will do that? That also depend on organizations, size of the organization, and the kind of job we are talking about. So let's. Move forward and see what we are supposed to discuss today. Still, we have to finish our socialization part because that was not completed, and we have to understand why we have to do that and what kind of topics we are covering in socialization activity, or sometimes we call it socialization orientation training. ठीक है वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ सोशलाइजेशन एंड वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस एंड वुल मूव फॉरवर्ड यू हैव टू गो फॉर ओरिएंटेशन सोशलाइजेशन प्रोसेस और इसमें याद होगा आपको सोशलाइजेशन में हमने कहा क्या कहा बताया था आपको कि यू कैन हैव द ओरिएंटेशन ट्रेनिंग यू कैन हैव द वेलकम पार्टी यू कैन हैव द जॉब रोटेशन इवन पोस्टिंग विद डिफरेंट पीपल एंड लर्निंग एट जॉब एंड सो मेनी अदर टेक्निक्स यू कैन यूज टू एक्ट complete this socialization process reason is important is that you are going to increase the improve the ability of the new employees as we discussed in the previous lecture that since a new person entering in your organization he or she might be having certain kind of anxieties concerns kuch log itne open nahi hote kuch log bade reserved rehte hain to shayad wo utna perform na kar sake jitna agar aap unko proper orientation karke leke aaye to fir chances are ki they are going to deliver more and better so by socialization socialization through socialization rather we are trying to improve the ability of our new comer the new worker the new employee in the organization uske alawa he or she who is the new person the new employee they are going to learn companies values and systems how people do their work what are their values what are their ethics unka culture kya hai system kya hai kaise kaam ho raha hai because of course aage hum ja ke dekhenge ki ho sakta hai wo kuch aur expect karke aa raha ho to aage kuch aur system chal raha hai it is better that you should tell them you should teach them rather than he or she should learn by mistakes so they will learn the company's values and system that is another benefit that is another reason that you want to do the socialization and by this because you are giving him or her the importance you mean organization they are taking care of 
their concerns. So naturally, it will increase the commitment, their commitment, of course, and commitment of together for the success for that to achieve that particular goal of the organization. Also the benefit. And now, the willingness to work with commitment of new person will also increase. Just imagine that you are joining a new institution, you are joining a new even education institution and if they will come forward and welcome you there and they will take you around and show you that these are your labs where you have to do your practical work, here is the library and they might provide you the some written material indicating or showing all procedures. Do not you think that this will increase your morale? It is going to help you to feel comfortable and your commitment to start with work, start the work, start your learning will increase. And that is how when new employees a new worker they join any organization an organization arrange nice and very organized form of orientation program or socialization program due to which the commitment will increase so this is also the importance of the socialization that the willingness of new worker to work with commitment will increase. And now, since they are joining a new organization, and in beginning they might have some anxiety, but due to this socialization process, now they are feeling comfortable this new environment. And now they, they can start working, they can start delivering. Similarly, through this socialization, they will know each other in the company, who is doing what and how he or she will be dealing with different kind of people. They will know that Mr. Such and Such, they are in the account department and the other person who is dealing the purchase, he is the right person and if you need something, you can ask such, such and such person and so on. So it is the acclimatization in new environment by knowing each other. Similarly, let us see how this socialization process, what are the step, different steps, what are the different stages of socialization. So we can see three stages and remember that it is not necessary that socialization process start even after the joining of the organization. It has already started way before the joining of new employees. That is why in this, those steps we always discuss three stages that is pre-arrival, encounter and metamorphosis. Let us see what are those different stages of socialization and what is happening at each stage. Let us start with the pre-arrival. Even before joining an organization, the potential candidates, the newcomer, their socialization has already been started. How? Way before starting the job. Whenever a person is thinking of joining a job or joining an organization, naturally they try to get information about that particular organization. They might go and ask people, okay, what kind of environment you have here? 
what kind of the job is and even today you can have the web page of each organization on the net. You can surf around, you can go through all those information and before even joining you have enough information. And it is also suggested that before going for interview, before going for any, before even applying any organization, it is good to know that in organization so that you should be clear where you are heading and where you are going. Similarly, before joining any organization, based on those information they have collected from their friends, from their colleagues, from their even from net or from the booklets they are publishing, they might develop certain expectations, they might develop certain attitude that part toward particular organization. Similarly, and even during schooling and training, जैसे याद होगा हमने recruitment में external sources में आपको job fair की बात की थी, internship की बात की थी, तो even during their study, people already know lot of things about different organization और फिर जब वो test की तैयारी करते हैं they know that they have to prepare for certain tests. They know that they have to go through the interview process. For within that particular organization. So people do put lot of efforts to prepare themselves. Keeping in view the organization value, the kind of work they are doing, the kind of people they have there. And that is how this socialization process has already started even before arrival or before they are joining in that particular organization. Now when actually they can encounter with the people, they can join what happened there. When they are entering in the organization, to kya hoga? they might have some shocks. Remember we said in the previous slide that they developed certain kind of attitude and expectation about that particular organization. Now, there are two things, one is the expectation and the second thing is the reality, what is the ground reality there. So even when people join some organization, they might have certain kind of shocks, they were expecting something different and in the reality it is different. So during socialization, these things should have been overcome and if the shock is the big one, naturally it will be, the marriage will finish quickly and what does marriage mean here? If you have joined a new organization, if you have shock expectation, or what your reality is, the difference is more than that, so logically then people will start thinking, yeah, oh, I did wrong, that was a mistake, let's start, start looking for something else. Or, either they will accept the shock, they will start working, or, as I have said, they will leave it. So, this was the other stage of the socialization process. The last, third stage, where they will go through different stages, the last, third stage, where they will go through different stages, where they will go through different stages, where they will go through different stages, he or she will try to work out those problems, the differences, which is the expectation or ground reality. The more quickly they can understand, the more quickly they can adjust, it is better. And then they will start feeling comfortable, provided they adjusted themselves, provided they have worked out the problems. And they will start feeling comfortable with the, in this new environment. Naturally then, productivity will start, they will start delivering something and with commitment of course, but if it is other way around, the turnover will be there, detachment will be there, they will leave or they will be misfit and they have to leave them. So, in socialization, a person, a new employee has to go through all those stages, steps. As I said, even this process start before they are joining pre-rival, before they are joining organization and then actually when they encounter 
and then they have to go through different phases. And during socialization, new employees have to socialize with so many people, the new hires, new person who are joining the organization. And they are, of course, HR department, the people involved in human resource management, and of course, through orientation and discussion, they can interact with them. They have to socialize with their supervisor, not only supervisor, but of course, their colleagues, peers, and of course organization culture. Not only this, they have a chief executive officer. Not only they have to socialize with the person personalities, but with their vision, with their outlook, what they are up to. Because if they want to be the part of the team, they have to know each other well. And now let's see what are the topics which are covered in specific, that is the orientation part. Remember we discussed that in socialization, there are different techniques, different tools of socialization. And one very important part is the formal orientation or orientation training part. And now more and more organization, they go with the orientation training. And it is essential part. Pehle to ye hota tha ki aapne kuch arsa pehle, couple of decades back even, in in our country, even society, ki you join any organization, and they will tell you, okay, this is your job, do it. Like when I started my career, this was my passion to, to be a teacher. And when I was selected, nobody taught me how to teach. Nobody gave me any orientation that, okay, this is the way you should be teaching. What happened? Impressed I try to copy them. So, what guarantee is that you are not going to be able to do it? So, you So, you see, even we discussed this point in the last lecture too, that the organization go for proper orientation training. So, that you should start working according to the philosophy and the culture and the norms and the values of that particular organization as per requirement of the job. So, let us move and see what kind of topics, what different topics they are covering in the orientation part, which is a formal socialization training, we can say it. It starts with the introduction. Kiska introduction? Of course, they introduce the new employees are introduced to organization. Us organization ke baare unko bataya jata hai kya hai? Isko vision kya hai? Mission kya hai inka? And unko introduce kiya jata hai unke supervisor ke saath. Okay, you have to work with this is your boss. Then they are also introduced to their trainer. The Joe's orientation time ke doran, Joe's specific jo socialization part hai, it can be one week, two week, one month or so on. Ki ye ye aapke trainer honge, or ye ye topic ye cover karenge. Of course, to co-workers, wo log jin ke saath aapne milke kaam karna hai, unse bhi aapko introduce karaya jata hai, which are your co-worker. Or ye jaise mein aapse kaha ki even, welcome party hoti hai, usme bhi introduce ho jata hai. Uske lawa job rotation pe. Or even they can take you around and show you, okay, these are the people where you, with whom you will be working. So, aapko jiyo introduction hai, wo aapke co-worker ke saath bhi ki jati hai. And who else? 
Yes, of course, with the system, the complete system of, of organization. Kaise different department kaam karte hain? And what kind of links they have there? How this whole system is working? They will introduce the new employees with that system too. Or then they will tell about their duties. They will talk about job related duties. Ki baat kar it starts with the job location itself. कहां पे आप पोस्ट होंगे किस जगह पे आपने काम करना है नॉट ओनली दिस ऑफ कोर्स द टास्क ऑफ जॉब जॉब टू और फिर आपने वहां पे क्या क्या काम करना है दैट इज आल्सो बीन डिस्कस एंड शोन टू यू उसके अलावा एंड इफ देयर इज एनी पर्टिकुलर सेफ्टी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर जॉब दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and you have to know that before you start your actual job and i believe you remember in previous some in some lecture we discussed that aapne dekha hoga sona bhi hoga ki even kuch factories ke andar jab kaam karne log jate hain to unko ek special helmet type cheez pehen ke jani padti hai protection ke liye and even if there are मशीनरी इतनी ज्यादा साउंड है उसकी नॉइस इतनी ज्यादा है तो उसके लिए स्पेशल हियरिंग प्रोटेक्शन लगाई जाती है एंड सम फॉर सम पर्टिकुलर जॉब्स यू माइट नीड स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ ग्लासेस एंड इवन फॉर सर्टेन जॉब्स रिक्वायरमेंट यू माइट हैव टू इवन वेयर ए स्पेशल ड्रेस फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर जॉब तो ये चीजें भी आपकी जॉब ड्यूटीज के अंदर जब बताई जाती हैं तो साथ उसकी सेफ्टी रिक्वायरमेंट्स को भी आपको उस ओरिएंटेशन में आपको दिखाया जाता है समझाया जाता है वॉट एल्स एंड दे विल गिव यू द अवर व्यू ऑफ द जॉब ए कंप्लीट अवर व्यू सो दैट यू शुड बी क्लियर सिमिलरली दे वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू नो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ योर जॉब विद रेफरेंस टू द होल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिस्टम This is also being covered while giving the orientation training. और फिर जैसे मैंने पहले भी कहा कि आपकी पर्टिकुलर जॉब की बाकी चीज दूसरी जॉब्स के साथ क्या रिलेशनशिप है सो दैट यू शुड बी क्लियर दैट इफ यू विल डू समथिंग रॉन्ग एट योर जॉब इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू अफेक्ट योर परफॉर्मेंस बट ऑफकोर्स इट इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द होल सिस्टम और आपकी उस जॉब की रिलेशनशिप बाकी जॉब के साथ क्या है ये भी एक्सप्लेन की जाती है एंड देन दे विल आल्सो कवर सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इश्यूज एंड व्हाट आर दोज लाइक दे विल टेल यू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ नॉट ओनली द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट ऑफ कोर्स द एम्प्लॉयर द ओनर द फाउंडर बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Why it is important? Because the founders' vision is very important. The person who has started this organization, his vision, or the main objective through which they they have established this setup, is very important. So new employees should know that how they started, what kind of hardship they have gone through. so that they should realize how important it is for the founder for the employer to get things done from them so they will tell you the history of the employer and then the organizational setup of the employers ki kya kya unke roles hain kis capacity mein wo kaam kar rahe hain na sirf ye balki they will tell you they will give you even the name title their contact numbers even aajkal to emails phone numbers unki locations of the key executive of your organization who is heading the finance department who is the head of marketing department 
who is heading the production department and so on. Even some people who are directly concerned to you, you should also know their name, title and contact points or contact numbers. Similarly, implies titles and departments as I said earlier. ये तो key executive आपको बताते हैं, फिर मुख्तलिफ departmentization जो आपकी organizational structure है, उसके अंदर क्या setup चल रहा है? उस organizational structure में क्या वो functional distribution है? या product based पे distribution है? या region based पे distribution है? Whatever. फिर मुख्तलिफ जो implies हैं, जो main main उनको आपको उसके बारे में बताया जाता है कि उनके टाइटल्स क्या हैं, वो एक्चुअली क्या काम कर रहे हैं और हाउ दे आर रिलेटेड टू योर वर्क और योर जॉब और योर सेक्शन तो ये भी आपको बताया जाता है व्हाट एल्स एंड एक्चुअली दे विल आल्सो टेक यू अराउंड एंड शो यू द फिजिकल ले of the facilities in your organization and you, at your workplace. Last lecture में भी हमने discuss किया था कि even आपको बताया जाता है कि कहाँ पे cafeteria है, मस्जिद कहाँ पे है? आपके अगर photocopy या xerox से कहते हैं वो करवाना है तो वो कहाँ पे है? And similarly other facilities like where is the production department? आपका अकाउंट डिपार्टमेंट कहां बैठता है आपकी मार्केटिंग वाले कहां दे आर दे आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू द फिजिकल लेआउट ऑफ द फैसिलिटीज यू हैव इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इवन सम टाइम अब मोस्टली ऑफ कोर्स दे विल आल्सो शो यू द आउटलेट्स कि इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसी तो कौन-कौन से रास्ते हैं कहां से निकलना है कैसे बाहर निकलना है तो ये सारा कुछ फिजिकल लेआउट ऑफ द फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल where you will be performing your job, they have to introduce to you. Uske lawa, and if there is any kind of probationary period, wo bhi aap se discuss kiya jata hai. Last lecture ko dharan, jab hum final offer letter ki baat ki thi, to us wakat, the final selection ki baat ki thi, to mainne aap se ek point discuss kiya tha, ki sometime, Agnashan can have the probationary period. Or us dharan, no question asked and you can just send people home if you are not satisfied. And it depends on and it varies from organization to organization. Kuch log teen maa hota hai, koi log six month ki baat karte hai. Some people, organization can go for one year or even more than that. And even they can extend the probationary period after the completion, within completion time, a legal requirement hoti hai. To wo probationary period increase bhi kiya ja sakta hai if organization is not sure ke aap ki performance yeah, even the behavior part is not up to the mark. And if it is a production unit, they will also give you the overview of the production process. Agar kisi, aise factory ke saath aap ange jai, kaam aap ne shuru kiya hai, wahan pe production unit hai, to aapko wo bhi, uska overview bhi bataya jata hai. Very important, they will introduce you with the company's policies and rule regulations. Kya kya rules hai, kya policies hai, kya kya aap ne obey karne hai, aur kya kya you are liable to do that. Isse bhi aapko introduce kiya jata hai. Disciplinary regulations, if you will come late, if you will miss that, if you do this, this is going to, these are all reinforcement techniques to maintain the discipline. Wo bhi se share kiya jata hai. Not only that, nowadays, especially after the awareness and the higher education level of workforce, organizations are also printing a proper, they call it implies handbook which contain all information. They started with the welcome note, introduction of the organization, the rule regulation, the policies, the procedure and everything. All those small, small detail, which of course they are also covering in this orientation program, they are also in the black and white form. They provide you in the form of a booklet, they call it implies handbook. So that no person have a reason or justification that sorry I didn't know that because now you have the everything in a written form with you. 
all disciplinary rules regulations, all procedures, all policies are given there in a proper shape. So, wo employee handbook bhi aapko usi orientation ke darman di jati hai aur aapse even signature le liya jata hai ki yes you have received that and you have understood everything. Safety procedures, khuda na khasta aag lag jaye to kya hoga? Earthquake aa jaye to phir kya karna hai? Bijli short circuit ko uska kuch ho jaye, kuch aap कुछ भी होता है कि, कि आपकी क्या जिम्मेदारी है नॉट ओनली कि द प्रोसीजर विल बी गिवन टू यू और शोन टू यू कि आपने क्या करना है कैसे सेव करना है लेकिन साथ साथ अगर आपकी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है किसको इन्फॉर्म करना है कैसे कॉल करना है ये सारी चीज़ें भी ओरिएंटेशन प्रोग्राम में आपको समझाई जाती हैं बताई जाती हैं और दिखाई जाती हैं बेनिफिट्स भी जो आपके जो न्यू एम्प्लाइज़ के या उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के रूल रेगुलेशन है वो भी आपसे शेयर किए जाते हैं वेयर यू विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस विद द पेस पे सिस्टम वट काइंड ऑफ पे स्केल्स दे हैव एंड वट आर द पे डेज उनका सिस्टम क्या है वर्किंग डेज कितने होते हैं सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन गो फॉर फाइव डेज वर्क डे फाइव डेज ए वीक वर्क टाइम सम अदर गो फॉर द सिक्स डेज ए वीक और उसका किस तरह कैलकुलेट किया जाता है क्या कैसे आपकी सैलरीज या कंपनसेशन डिसाइड होती है वो भी उसको नए एम्प्लाइज को क्लियर की जाती है सो दैट एवरी थिंग शुड भी क्लियर ऑन देयर पार्ट vocation during the end of our discussion session somewhere in even after 40th lecture ya usse pehle kahin hum ye benefits ko detail mein discuss karenge fir aapko vocation type kitni kism ki vacations hoti hai paid leaves jinhe kehte hain wo kitni kism ki hoti hain ye bhi aapko bata di jati hain ki aapki casual leaves kitni hongi if you have some earned leave medical leaves different kind of leaves wo sari cheeze bhi aapko of course it is also they are also written in the handbook बट उस ओरिएंटेशन में भी आपको उसको एक ब्रीफिंग दी जाती है क्योंकि मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव यू रिमेंबर इज द सेम कि दे आर टेलिंग यू कि व्हाट यू शुड बी एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड व्हाट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यू इन ईच एस्पेक्ट आपके बेनिफिट्स की बात होती है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की ऑब्जेक्टिव की बात होती है आपकी ड्यूटीज की बात होती है थिंग शुड बी क्लियर बिफोर यू स्टार्ट एक्चुअल जॉब उसके अलावा रेस्ट ब्रेक कितनी होती है डे में लंच ब्रेक का क्या टाइम है नमाज की ब्रेक अगर है तो उसकी क्या टाइमिंग है एन एम्स इवन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे हैव द पंच सिस्टम टाइम कार्ड सिस्टम होता है उनका कि आप अपनी जगह छोड़ते हो तो वो एक कार्ड होता है जो पंच करते हो आप घड़ी के साथ लगा होता है आप उस पर एंट्री हो जाती है कि आप किस वक्त जा रहे हो किस वक्त आओगे बाहर की दुनिया में जहाँ पर सारा सिस्टम अब तो हमारे यहाँ भी होता जा रहा है कि सारे सिस्टम कंप्यूटराइज होते हैं You have to log in and log out. वहां पर हमें याद है कि जब हम बाहर निकलते थे तो हमें कंप्यूटर पर लॉग आउट करना पड़ता था कि हम इतने बजे वट एवर रीजन खाने के लिए जा रहे हैं किस काम के लिए जा रहे हैं लॉग आउट हो गए और जब वापस आए तो यू हैव टू लॉग इन तो वो जो डिफरेंस होता था कंप्यूटर वॉज ऑटोमेटिकली सिस्टम वॉज कैलकुलेटिंग कि कितने आपने ब्रेक किए नाउ इफ यू हैव officially allowed for half an hour a 30 minute break aur aapne 40 minute kar li to 10 minutes extra hogi break aapki to if the system is good and working properly to kya hota hai mahine ke end pe wo jitna extra time aapne lagaya hota hai wo sara calculate hoke uski aapki salary mein se deduct ho jata hai to usi orientation mein aapko bataya jata hai ki kitni break kar sakte hain aap kis kis time aapka break ka time hoga and ट्रेनिंग एजुकेशन और दूसरे बेनिफिट्स का क्या सिस्टम है क्या ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आपके लिए कैरियर डेवलपमेंट के लिए क्या क्या एक्टिविटीज़ करेगी ट्रेनिंग का क्या सिस्टम है किस बेस पे ट्रेनिंग कराई जाती है कब कब आपको एक्सपेक्ट करना चाहिए कि आप ट्रेनिंग पे जाएंगे इफ़ इट इज़ एन इन हाउस ट्रेनिंग इफ़ इट इज़ ए फॉर्मल ट्रेनिंग आउटसाइड समवेयर इन द यूनिवर्सिटीज एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन आर ट्रेनिंग सेंटर आर इट इज यू हैव टू सपोज टू गो अब्रॉड तो ये इन्फॉर्मेशन भी आपको उसी ओरिएटेशन में प्रोवाइड की जाती है and if they had if they have some kind of counseling system they will also inform you ko problem hota hai ko masla hai to uski counseling system kya hai aajkal waise bhi organization ne ek naya system jise kehte hain mentoring mentor they identify some senior people and tell you that this is your mentor if you have any problem go and talk with him or her is tarah mukhtalif adare counseling bhi karte hain apne logon ki apne employees ki If it is a job related, or it is some kind of emotional or behavior part, 
उसके लिए भी अगर कोई सिस्टम है तो वो भी आपको बताया जाता है देन ऑफकोर्स इन अदर बेनिफिट्स इफ़ यू हैव एनी हाउसिंग फैसिलिटीज़ फ्राम द कंपनी साइड फ्राम योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन साइड उसके बारे में रूल रेगुलेशन प्रोसीजर आपको बताया जाता है कि वो कैसे आप अवेल कर सकते हैं इंश्योरेंस की बात कर सकते हैं वो भी हो सकता है हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस हो सकती है लाइफ इंश्योरेंस हो सकती है और किस तरह उसकी प्रीमियम जो है वो कौन देता है कंपनी कितनी देगी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्या देगी आपका क्या शेयर होगा उसमें एंड व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स सिमिलरली इफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैव सम रिटायरमेंट प्रोग्राम्स पेंशन ग्रेजुएटी सर्टन काइंड ऑफ इशूज इन शाला विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैम वैन विल डिस्कस द एक्चुअल टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल एंड इफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू अदर फैसिलिटीज अदर सर्विसज लाइक आपके बच्चों के पिकअप ड्राप कोई है उनकी स्कूलिंग के लिए कोई फैसिलिटीज़ हैं आपके क्लब्स गेम्स स्पोर्ट एक्टिविटी के लिए कोई फैसिलिटीज़ हैं एंड सो ऑन सिमिलरली रिहेबिटेशन प्रोग्राम समथिंग वेंट रॉन्ग वट काइंड ऑफ सेफ्टी और प्रोटेक्शन यू हैव फ्राम द कंपनी साइड सो दैट वॉज अबाउट द टॉपिक्स विच द कवर इन द ओरिएटेशन प्रोग्राम Now, if we'll see the balance, like if you want to compare, because we have two things: one is the capability of new employees, and other thing is the job demand in particular organization. Yeah, if we want to see the both thing in a balance, there are certain things which can affect those things. We are, and we are talking about the new employees. So, if you will put, and if you will have proper orientation and training of new employees. the probability is the research is telling us that the productivity and performance as per the job requirement is always increased the more you will give importance or put emphasis on your tra- the training of new employees or orientation of new employees properly the better results you will get ye aapko clear part ya slide dikhane ka maqsad ye tha ki kitna important hai ye orientation part कितना इम्पॉर्टेंट है ये ट्रेनिंग पार्ट क्योंकि इसी के बेस पे आप जो नए वर्कर हैं उनसे प्रोडक्टिविटी उनकी एफिशिएंसी और इफेक्टिवनेस इंक्रीज कर सकते हैं विदाउट लूजिंग एनी टाइम विदाउट एनी डिले सो आई बिलीव वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द हायरिंग पार्ट हायरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ एच पार्ट तो थोड़ा सा क्विकली रिव्यू करते हैं कि क्या हमने इसमें देखा एंड रिमेंबर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट बाकी सारी चीजें इसी हायरिंग के बेस पे आगे चलती हैं यू स्टार्टेड विद प्लानिंग यू स्टार्टेड विद एनालिसिस ऑफ जॉब एनालिसिस जिसे कहते हैं यू स्टार्टेड विद राइटिंग जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन स्पेसिफिकेशन and evaluating a job we have gone through all those details and i believe you still remember them usi ke base pe ye sara hiring process shuru hua tha aur hiring karke aapne us hiring mein aapne even usko orientation deke now you have placed that particular person for the job to perform तो हायरिंग में ये तीन स्टेजेस को तीन स्टेप्स को हमने डिटेल में कवर किया रिक्रूटमेंट को सिलेक्शन को और सोशलाइजेशन को नाउ व्हाट शुड बी द नेक्स्ट लॉजिकल स्टेप नाउ यू हैव द पीपल विद यू यू हैव पिक द बेस्ट इन योर ओपिनियन बेस्ट मीन द बेस्ट फिट the objective of the organization the demand of that particular job and the capability of that person not only you pick that you have tried to pick the best person but you have also socialized him or her and try to acclimatize the new worker in your environment in your organization so now things should start moving you should be able to get things done from other people you should be getting the best results of course but still you have to keep on doing certain other activities continually training part 
یہ تو ساتھ ساتھ چلتی ہے تھنگز آر چینجنگ ایوری ڈے ٹیکنالوجی از چینجنگ ڈیمانڈز آر چینجنگ سسٹمز آر چینجنگ سو یہ نہیں ہے کہ آپ نے کسی کو لے لیا ہائر کر لیا اس کو پریس کر دیا ناؤ یو شوڈ بی سیٹسفائی وائی دا ڈے یو ول بی سیٹسفائی کر دا آئی ہیو اچیو وی آر وی ہیو اچیو اوور گولس اینڈ ناٹ پٹ ایکسٹرا ایفرٹس ٹو ڈو سم تھنگ مور دین دیٹ واٹ از گوئنگ ٹو ہیپن یو ول بی فنش دا سیم وے ابھی آگے بہت سارے اسٹیجز آنے ہیں اور کیا کیا جاب پرفارمنس ویلویشن کیسے کرنی ہے باقی چیزیں کیسے کرنی ہیں لیکن ایک بڑی امپورٹنٹ چیز اس کے ساتھ کیونکہ ہم نے اورینٹیشن ٹریننگ کو کور کیا تھا سوشلائزیشن میں تو آئی تھاٹ آئی شوڈ اٹیچ دا ٹریننگ پارٹ ایٹ دس پلیس کیونکہ وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ٹریننگ تو ساتھ ساتھ آپ کی ٹریننگ اور ڈیولپمنٹ بھی ضروری کرنی ہے تاکہ آپ اپنی جو کمپیٹیو ایڈوانٹیج ہے اس کو قائم رکھ سکیں So let's start the new topic, the next topic, which is the training and development. And see what is training. I'll just touch this topic today in this lecture. And inshallah, next few lectures, we'll try to cover this training and development part in detail. So what is training? Chand Bukish, ek do definition aapke saath share karte hain. Ek jaga likha hua tha. The process whereby people acquire capabilities to add in the achievement of organization goal. That is training. Another place, training involves planned learning activities designed to improve an employee's performance at his or her current job. Let's move forward. Training refers to the method used to give new or present employees the skills they need to perform their jobs. That is the training. What is training? And why it is important? They say training is everything. اس کے بغیر کچھ بھی نہیں ہو سکتا ایک ٹیکس کے اندر ایک کوٹ تھی میں آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرتا ہوں اور ذرا دیکھیے تو اس کے اس کا مطلب کیا نکلتا ہے دا پیچ واز ون سے بیٹر آمن کالی فلاور از نتھنگ بٹ کیبج ود اے کالج ایجوکیشن واٹ از اس کا کیا مطلب ہے دا پیچ واز ونس اے بیٹر آمن پیچ معلوم ہے نا کسے کہتے ہیں اور آمن کس کو کہتے ہیں اور بیٹر مین کڑوا اس ایک مختلف طریقے ہیں بات کرنے کے کسی نے بڑے اچھے اسٹائل میں ایک چیز آپ کو کنوے کرنے کی کوشش کی دا پیچ از نتھنگ بٹ دا پیچ رام یہ جو پیچ آڑو کو بولتے ہیں نا فروٹ ہے بڑا اچھا ہے لذیذ ہوتا ہے تو اگر آپ اس کی ہسٹری پہ جائیں تھوڑا سا تو پیچ کیسے یہ پراپر جو بٹر آمنڈ ہے اس کی انہوں نے مختلف سائنٹیفک مختلف ٹیکنیک کے ساتھ جس کو ہم بریڈنگ اور گرافٹنگ اور ٹریننگ مختلف ٹرمنالوجی یوز کرتے ہیں اس کے ذریعے اس کو کنورٹ کیا ان ٹو پیچ سائنسدانوں نے ریسرچر نے ایگریکلچر سائنٹسٹ نے اسی طرح کالی فلاور کس کو کہتے ہیں اور کیبج کیا ہے کالی فلاور پھول گوبھی کو کہتے ہیں جو آپ سبزی کے طور پہ آپ یوز کرتے ہیں ویجیٹیبلس اور کیبج از بیسیکلی جسے ہم بند گوبھی کہتے ہیں تو ایک کی فیملی سے ان کا تعلق ہے تو کیبج کی بریڈنگ کر کے انہوں نے اس سے کالی فلاور بنا لیا اب دوبارہ اس کو دیکھیے اور سمجھیے دا پیچ واز ونس اے بیٹر آمن کالی فلاور از نتھنگ بٹ کیبج ود اے کالج ایجوکیشن مقصد یہ ہے کہ یہ چیزیں شروع میں نہیں تھی نہ پیچ تھا نہ کالی فلاور تھا لیکن لوگوں نے ٹریننگ لے کے پڑھ کے ایجوکیٹ ہو کے یہ نئی چیزیں پروڈیوس کر لیں تو یہ مقصد کوٹیشن اور اس طرح کی سلائڈ آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرنے کا یہ ہے کہ جسٹ ٹو گو یو اور کنوینس یو دیٹ ہاؤ امپارٹنٹ اٹ از ٹریننگ کنٹینیو ٹریننگ بیکاز وی آر دا لرننگ از کنٹینیو تو اس کے لیے آرگنائزیشن بھی کنٹینیو ٹریننگ فیسلٹی پرووائڈ کرتی ہیں تاکہ وہ پریزنٹ کام بھی اچھے سے اچھے طریقے سے کرتے رہیں اس میں جدت لاتے رہیں تو اس سلائڈ کا مقصد بھی یہی تھا آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرنے کا کہ دیکھیں ٹریننگ کے ساتھ ایجوکیشن کے ساتھ لرننگ کے ساتھ لوگ کیا کیا اچھے کام کر لیتے ہیں اس کے بعد ڈیولپمنٹ واٹ از ڈیولپمنٹ 
And remember we are just introducing this subject today, I am not going in detail. So, development is basically all those efforts organization are doing to prepare their employees for the future. Training, aaj ke kaam ke liye aap unko jo unko learning ke liye kar rahe hain, efforts kar rahe hain, ki aaj ke kaam wo apne achhe tarikhe se kar sakhe. Or development are all those efforts, all those trainings which you are providing to your employee for the future. Aage uski next position ke liye, ko nahi technology ke liye or whatever. Training and development trends, aaj kal kya iske baare mein socha ja raha hai, let's share with you. Skills requirement will continue to increase, very logical. Things are changing every day. Today you have something, next morning you might have different thing. So, usi liye, phir aapko skills bhi different chahiye. Training ki zaroorat roz baroz barthi ja rahi hai. Workforce will become significantly better educated and more diverse. See the competition, the competitive pressures of today's organization. We have discussed them so many times. So, khub se khub tar ki talash ke liye, workforce bhi aage bharti rehti hai. Kisi door mein kaha jata tha ke bachelor kaal mein badi baat hai. Aaj kal to PhD se kam baat hi nahi sunte, agar if you are in education of course. And even people go with the diverse type of education. Mokhtalif kism ke masters kar rahe hote hain. So, training ki education ki zaroorat barthi ja rahi hai. And corporates are restructuring, reshaping the bare businesses. So, as they are reshaping, restructuring themselves, of course, accordingly they have to retrain their workforce to create a match again. Technology will revolutionize what? Certain training delivery methods. Kuch arsa pehle aap ne school mein, college mein, white board ke upar, black board ke upar, prane tarikhe se hum parthe the. Ab kya hai? Now you are sitting at your home and watching this TV and our CD and just we are learning. Ab to virtual concept bhi aagya. और तरीके नए नए आते जा रहे हैं जिसमें ट्रेनिंग आपकी बढ़ सकती है सिमिलरली ट्रेनिंग डिपार्टमेंट का रोल चेंज हो रहा है एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक फ्लेक्सिबल काम के बारे में सिर्फ उसी अपनी जॉब के बारे में आप ट्रेनिंग लेके कोर्सेज مختلف करके अपनी परफॉर्मेंस इंक्रीज करना चाहते हैं एंड मोर वर्म फिल स्ट्राइव टू बिकम लर्निंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे ऑलवेज ट्राई टू लर्न मोर और मोर so that they should be keeping their position in the market as competitive advantage. Or, aaj ka zyada zor jo hai, wo human performance management pe aa raha hai. Kyunki humne yehi dekha, aur humare subject ka basic theme bhi yehi hai, ke people are important, the important source of any organization. I think enough for today. Just to summarize quickly what we have covered. Purpose and importance of socialization, yes, the remaining part of socialization. उसके स्टेप्स हमने देखे किन किन स्टेजेस से गुजरता है न्यू एम्प्लॉई जो है और कौन से टॉपिक्स हुए हैं हम कवर करते हैं सोशलाइजेशन प्रोसेस में देन वी स्टार्टेड जस्ट स्टार्टेड आपको इंट्रोड्यूस किया है ट्रेनिंग और डेवलपमेंट पार्ट को सो व्हाट शुड बी नेक्स्ट ऑफ कोर्स विल कंटिन्यू आवर ट्रेनिंग पार्ट एंड आई होप यू आर लर्निंग समथिंग सो दैट्स all for today. So, remember we have finished our hiring process and now we have started our training part. So, I will again suggest please do reading, lot of reading from your text. Read the notes attached with our these presentations or slides and come prepare next time when we will be talking about training. With these thoughts, thank you very much. And Assalamu Alaikum.